10 great tutorial for beginners hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be giving you a tutorial on sendgrid how we can use sendgrid to send and receive emails to create email marketing campaigns and more so let's get started first what i want you guys to do is simply go to sendgrid.com and you will get to this platform right here sendgrid is a well-known platform um really good for email marketing campaigns i have personally used it and it has all the right features and tools we look for so the first thing is going to be of course signing up for sendgrid if you are a complete beginner you will need to select a price so you will have to select a pricing plan go to pricing and you will be able to select from the plan of your choice so we have a free plan on sendgrid which is going to be zero dollars per month sendgrid for free this is really good and then we have an essential plan which starts from 14.95 dollars per month and it is for up to 1 million emails and subscribers so if you want to increase your emails then of course it will increase as well you can see if you want to send 50,000 emails then you are going to be paying almost 15 dollars per month then there is a pro plan which starts from $89 and it is like for a very huge business where you will be sending 1.5 million emails per day and then we have a premium which is going to be custom so if you have like if you're sending 100 emails a day then free plan is good as well so i'm gonna just click on this plan here and we will be able to sign up the signing up process is really easy you just enter your email address here and then you have to set up a reasonable password keep in mind the password should at least 16 characters and then click on i accept to terms and services click on create account and your new account on sendgrid will be created after the initial sign up or sign in to your account this is where you will get this is a brand new account that i just created with sandgrid now let me show you around how to use sandgrid and what are the different features we are getting so first of all we have a menu here and here i have dashboard so in dashboard i will be able to check like the basic view of my sandgrid and i will be able to send my first email and then we can also check our different email history then we have email api here we have dynamic templates and integration guide then we have marketing section and here we most of the time work here if you are in marketing niche and this is where i work as well so we have marketing in marketing we get automation single sense contact custom field sign up forms sender notification and unsubscribe groups then we have our own design library where i can design templates for my email and newsletters we also get stats and here i will be able to check the expert insights category stacks global stats geographical stats of my subscribers and emails then we have an overview browser stat and more so you don't have to go to any other platform in order to get stats you can just go to this library here Similarly, we have activity, suppression, and settings, of course. Now, first of all, what I want you guys to learn is how to add a contact because that's the first thing. And then we can create an email for our contact that we just created. Go to marketing contact and it will open up contacts for you. To create a brand new contact, you will click on create. Now, we want to create a new list or segment. So let's go with new list. Give your list a name. I'm going to call it work, save list. And now I have a list here. Open it up. Click on add contact, manual add. Now, what you have to do is enter your contact information. So you will enter information such as first name, last name, email address. And then we can also enter their alternate email. Then we have address, country. Once you've added the information, click on add contact. And a new contact will be created manually. We can also create contacts in different lists. And we can arrange our contacts in different lists according to our subscribers, work, unsubscribers, recently added, new, old. So you can just create different lists on SandGrid. Now you know how to create a contact. If I go to the dashboard again and let's go ahead and create our first single send, I will be sending an email. Let's go ahead and create an email on SendGrid. Now we'll simply go to dashboard or we can go to marketing and in marketing we have single sends. We will have to set up a first sender information first. So you will enter a sender information. I'm going to enter my name, email address and then we're going to add reply to 
So to create a sender, you will enter first name, email address, reply to city and nickname. Click on create and a new sender verification will be added here. So now we have this information. Uh, let's go to email API and go to dynamic templates because here we will be able to create our templates for our newsletter and email. Click on create dynamic template. Give your template a name. Let's call it test. Click on create. Now you can see a new template has been created here. I can go to the design library now. And here I will be able to check all of my email designs and all my templates that I've created. Let's create an email design. We can go to the email editor. And once we click on email editor, it takes us to the editing section where I will be able to create an email now. So we can go to the build section. In build, we have text and columns, everything. All you do is drag and drop. And now I have text here. So first, we add different elements to our email. Uh, we will add text. Let's go with image. So you're just going to drag and drop wherever you want it to be. We have our own image library. We can upload different images. We have codes, buttons, spacer, divider, and unsubscribe button as well. Then we have tags that we can add. And in settings, we will be able to end enter our subject, pre-header, categories, and more. So this is like a preview of how you will create an email on SendGrid. So I'm just going to save it. As a complete beginner, you need to explore SendGrid and then you can get started with your designs. All of your designs will be shown here in the design library. Of course, you will be able to check all of your previous uh, emails that you have created or the emails that you want to create. Similarly, I can go to the stats section and let's go to overview. Let me show you how email look in SendGrid. So this is our overview here and we can get our own graphs and pie charts. We have different colors categorized into different things like such as request, delivered, clicks, unclick, unsubscribed, bounces, block and spam. Then we have request and unique opens, unique clicks. So this is like an overview stats that we get on our sent grid. Similarly, we have settings. In settings, I will be able to set up all my account and I will be able to do the privacy and security settings. Once you know how to use SendGrid, then you will be able to create your own professional templates for your newsletter, email, and for your marketing campaigns. You can also do automation. You can create custom and sign up forms. You can create contacts and group and list and customize your email marketing campaigns using SendGrid really, really easily. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to tell you everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use SendGrid as a complete beginner don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel